Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the 8th through the 15th of October. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for somebody. I don't know who. May not be for you, okay? Because this is for thousands of people. It's a general reading, so you know it may not be for you. So you really need to keep that in mind. If you're confused by it, then it's not for you. It's, don't try to make it fit. Typically, my readings are love readings. We're going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that I don't change my tone. Whatever comes out, comes out. Oh, so we have a challenge. When it comes out sideways, it's a challenge, okay? So happiness is a challenge. Thinking positive versus negative is a challenge. So you really need to work on thinking positive, okay? Because your negative thinking, your thoughts truly do become things, Leo. And this happens to be your card. So you are really at a point, you're going through some sort of challenge, okay? You're going through a challenge right now uh, in regards to your own happiness. It's like... You're, you're your own worst enemy. It's there's pro You're probably on some kind of roller coaster where one minute you're really happy, the next minute you're sad. One minute you're thinking positive, the next minute you're thinking negative. Um, the universe is like trying to bring you growth, and you may be hindering it. You know, there's a lot. This is like a roller coaster right here. It's like you're you're up and down, up and down. You're gonna leave this as a challenge, okay? Because that's really what it is. Right now, you're going through some challenges. I think you're going through a rebirth. And this rebirth is maybe a little bit overwhelming. So you're probably like, you may be trying to fight this rebirth, eh? You know, this change, this growth that's happening. You know, in, on one hand, you're ready for it. You're like, bring it on. But then probably as night falls, you're like, oh, man, this is a little overwhelming. This is too much. So I think, you know, in the morning when the sun is out, it's all good. You're like on cloud nine. But as night falls, the negativity creeps back in, right? Um, oh, there could have been a breakup or there is a breakup on the horizon. There's some sort of arguments here. There's a contract that has ended or may be ending. Um, there's incompatibility. So let's see what's going on here. But this is this is like a breakup of some sort. It is. It's there's a lot of there's a, there's deception. There's deception. There's something going on behind the scenes. And you may have found out about this. You may have found out found out about something that was going on behind the scenes, and now you're trying to be logical. Um, <laughs> you're making a. You're trying to stand strong and stand firm in your decision that you know I don't want deception. I don't want to deal with lies. And it feels you like you may have been lied to, or something like that. But you're seeing the situation clearly. Ooh, Six of Cups reverse. You may have been involved in a false soulmate, okay? Yeah, there may have been a false soulmate connection here. I mean, that's pretty clear. That's a pretty clear message, okay? Oh. And you're still, there's there's memories there. There's memories. And at one time, there was a strong connection. But it looks like that now there's too much uh, incompatibility. There's too many arguments. There's too much fighting. And there's a big disconnection. And there's some, definitely something going on behind the scenes. Okay, there is. There's and There has been. There's something that you don't know. Or there's been a secret here. But you know it. You know there's been a secret. Now, there could have been a secret with somebody from the past. Maybe this partner may have reconnected with someone from the past, or you did. 
Ooh, yikes. So somebody has, is not emotionally available. They're not. They're not emotionally available in this dynamic. They've closed themselves down emotionally. Yikes, there, there could have been a third party situation and um, perhaps it's been a secret or it's still a secret. But there's a lack of receiving love, a lack of receiving love and emotional fulfillment from, from somebody. And this is a, there definitely could have been an, another person involved here. It looks like you've, you've broken free or you're about to break free. Whew. Yikes. So, yeah. Five of Cups, okay. Um, Five of Cups is a breakup. So, I'm not sure if somebody has just broken up or... They're th talking about breaking up or whatever the case is, but there's like a lack of faith, a lack of trust, and there's been some sort of deception here. I think there's been a third party situation. I'm sorry to say that. I don't like to say that, but I do believe there has been for some of you. There's been a third party situation that has cut like a knife and you may have closed off emotionally or the other person has, or you both have. It has affected this union in a very big way. I feel like um, there's been some, some sort of deception that has happened and the truth ha may have been revealed or it's about to be revealed that may force somebody or may push somebody on a new journey, you know, decide to go on their own. I'm ready to start on a new journey by myself and release myself from this connection. It feels as though there is some sort of end of a commitment here okay there's some sort of end of a commitment I just need to take a break it's time for me to recuperate I this is too much for me it's very heavy it's bringing me down your heaviness is bringing me down I think that you are dealing with somebody that is very they're not as giving as you I think that you are dealing with a person that is kind of cold emotionally cold they can't open their heart like you and it has made you brought you way 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 down and I feel like right now um you have probably lost faith and trust in this person and even in love, perhaps. It's like, I don't know what I can believe at this point because you have lied to me. So, And because you have lied to me now, I don't trust. So I feel as though you are still wallowing over the hurt. You're still hurting over this, perhaps, again, Three of Cups, third-party situation. Now, third-party situations can, can go many ways. It can be with children. It can be with lovers. It can be with parents. It can be with a lover and a parent, a lover and a child, whatever. Third-party situations can go many different ways. Keep that in mind. Three's a crowd, and I feel like somebody has intervened in your love life to a point where where there's no reconciliation at this point. It's It's reached the point of it's time for me to fly. It's time for me to fly because there's this person that you're dealing with is stone cold. Okay. So I feel like you, you do have another opportunity with this five of cups. Whoops. With this five of cups. Um, right here, if you would turn and look at it, you do have another opportunity, but right now you're still hurting. You're still focusing on the, on the cup that's in your hand, you know, the loss Okay, you're focusing on the loss. So um, you haven't healed. There's some regrets here. You probably have some regrets. You probably have some um, unanswered questions. You know, you're probably like, why? Why me? But the fact of the matter is, is you have a better opportunity. You do. You need to stop focusing on the whys and just allow your fresh start to, to begin, okay? Have faith. Regain some faith. And again, I mean, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you guys haven't been listening, okay? The Hierophant is reversed. You're not listening to your inner guide. And I think that your inner guide had told you some time ago that there was something going on behind the scenes, but you may have ignored that inner guide. Um, right now, you guys are probably being asked to forgive this situation, and forgiveness is needed with that Three of Swords reversed. And maybe it's going to take you a little bit of time to recuperate from this hurt, you know. 
so just take all the time that you need. I mean, that's what I see, but we're going to get some clarifiers here. I think that you guys are seeing this situation clearly now. I think that you're being very logical, and I think that you are embarking on a brand new journey. You've probably broken free, or you're about to break free, and head in a new direction where you will be recognized and respected okay so i feel like right now you are you are probably demanding respect by holding your head up high standing in your power but there's a lack of i mean these are contradictions here this is this is bad karma bad luck what goes around comes around i'm not sure what has happened here but somebody was self-centered and impulsive they acted impulsively and this is impulsive as well you may have gotten into a relationship impulsively and now you're getting some sort of bad karma out of it. You know, you may have done something. I'm not sure if that's you, but this does represent Leo. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And this is a commitment. You know, if you have involved yourself with somebody that was committed, you know, and you're the third party, don't expect to get rewarded for that. Okay, because there's no reward. And I'm not just saying, I'm not saying if you have or not, but... It looks like there's some sort of somebody did not act with integrity. They didn't do the right thing. Somebody did not do the right thing. And now they're getting a bout of bad luck. They didn't listen. They were selfish, self-centered, impulsive, and it brought and it's bringing it's bringing them backwards. What the hell is this? lack of wish fulfillment somebody somebody is not getting a gift because of their actions okay there's no gift there's no gift there's bad luck somebody acted they did the wrong thing okay somebody did the wrong thing and it has to do with a commitment somebody did the wrong thing and now they're not being rewarded they're not going getting a, getting a reward out of it because they were, it's almost like selfish. Somebody acted selfishly. And it could be the person that you're dealing with. Could be you. There was an impulsive action here that is now coming back around, you know. Somebody didn't think before they act, it acted and, you know, they may have been very high and mighty and didn't care how it was going to affect another person. But the universe saw what was happening and now there's no reward. There's some kind of blockage of success. Okay, somebody's not getting the success that they deserve because they didn't do the right thing. I don't know who this is, but somebody is not going to get anything stable and solid out of being self-centered. This is ego. This is ego. Acting out of their ego, trying to be in control, trying to control situations. 
somebody has act, was acting all high and mighty. And now they're not they're not getting any reward for it, for not giving, for not doing the right thing. Things are completely halted as far as security, stability, new or more money or success or anything like that. There's no security left in this situation because of self-centeredness. Impulsiveness. Somebody acted impulsively not thinking about how it was going to affect other people. That's what's coming to me. Not not knowing, not realizing what the effect was going to be. They were. That's what. This is the. High, this is like high and mighty. Like look at me. Ha ha. Very cold. What the hell is this? This is togetherness. Another three, 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 three. Whatever this is, whatever it is that has brought you down, it has kept you stuck. is going to ask you to make some compromises. You're going to have to make some compromises. So that you can start on your new journey. It, it, there's a new journey here that is about to start or it is starting. But I think that you're you are oh, you you're going through a period of bad luck and it's like because of actions that somebody has taken somebody has done the not done the right karma's a bitch right karma's a bitch it could have to do with children it could because that six of cups can often refer often reference children so if you've done something that is less than the right thing to do out of ego out of uh control because this is this king of King of Wands reverse is all about being in control. I'm in control. If you do things just to be in control, to have that power, when you know it's not the right thing to do, especially if it's concerning children or whatever the case is, expect. Expect. Or, or if you cheat, I'm not saying it's you or if it's the other person. Somebody has, there's been a third party situation here, there has. When you do something that is self-centered and not righteous and that hurts other people involved you can expect what goes around to come around whether it's bad or good and this is in this case it's bad so i feel like that you are getting some sort of payback for something that you have done i'm sorry i really 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 am um payback for something that you have done and i'm not sure what it is um Somebody hasn't been practical, and it's because of their ego. Let's change this story, please. There's somebody, there's some sort of breakup here. There's some sort of breakup here. There is with the lovers in the, in the page of cups reversed, and the six of cups reversed. There's some sort of breakup that is happening and I think it's karma it's karma it's some sort of karmic situation I'm sorry to say that and you probably just need to take a break you need to you need to take time to recuperate from this and remember to do the noble this is nobility to do the noble thing in the future be noble do the right thing make sure that you recognize that other people are involved with the decisions that you make this is about recognition it is because there's other people that can get hurt by your actions. <sighs> I 
This is release. Letting go of, I mean, this is upright, this is cruelty. Somebody has been cruel. And now there's an ability to make amends and work together. If you work together and make some compromises, if you can appreciate that there's no need to hold on. There's no need to hold on to the fight because this is a this is like a family situation there's no need to fight there's no need to fight there's an opportunity for abundance and to rebuild a legacy you know to rebuild stability within your life if you can let go of your negative thoughts and your grudges and your hurt feelings about whatever it is that has happened there's some sort of hurt that needs to be released and the grudges I think this is grudges that need to be released so that you can bring stability and security back to your life and that's what this right here is one minute you're happy one minute you're, you're not happy it's because there's grudges that come up no grudges let go of the grudges so that happiness can come back. Keeping the fight going is just going to bring you bad luck and bad karma. And that's up to you. Somebody has to be the one to say no more. Has to be the, the wise one, the noble one. I mean, the king of wands reverse, that's self-centered, that's selfish. No, no, that's, it's all about me. I'm in control, I'm the boss, I could care less. In reverse, that's, that's I could care less what you think. Greedy, ruthless, unreasonable. And if you're going to be unreasonable and not realize that other people matter, then you're going to get bad karma and bad luck. It's about working together as a team with family members and other people in your circle to bring success. To make everybody happy. Otherwise you're going to bring bad luck into your life. And the universe is going to put you in situations that hurt. And I feel like that's what's happened. I think that you guys have gotten yourself into a 6-6. Six, six, less than peaceful, harmonious situation. Be a less than peaceful, harmonious situation. Because you did something in the past that was unrighteous. I'm sorry. Could have to do with children. I'm not sure. If you've, if for example, this just came to mind. If you've kept children from their parents for any reason, that's unrighteous. And I don't want to hear any comments below, blah, 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 blah. There's certain, you know, oh, no, 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 no. You know, you really need to have a damn good reason to keep a child from their parent. Holding a grudge because you're mad at that person or whatever. That's not a good reason. If they are a molester or an, or an abuser, that's one thing. But for any other reason than that, there's really no reason. That's just an example. That's about control. That's about power and control. And if you do stuff like that, you can expect... That's just an example that won't be for everybody. You can expect bad luck, bad karma because you're not doing the right thing. Not only are you hurting the person, but you're hurting the children. Just that's an example. I don't know where that came from. Maybe some of you are doing that. I don't know. Um, um, there's insecurity here and there's 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 insecurity your own insecurities and that's why there's power struggles here there's power struggles out of your own insecurities anyway i don't know where this freaking reading is going um 
forgiveness is needed. Three of Swords reverse. Forgiveness is needed for something. There's a, a break in a partnership of some sort because there's been some sort of third party situation which was karmically driven. Karma did that. Karma brought that into your life for some reason. Um, to, 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 to make you step back, you know, to take you back a couple notches. Um, and that happens. That happens. Um, but let's see about the future here. Trying to cling to control. Remember, I was talking about control. So somebody has been very uh, controlling, trying to control everything. I mean, this is the this is like I don't care. I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's all about me. I'm the boss, and that's what matters. And <laughs> and do you think this person gets is in, is happy? In, in this state of mind? Yeah, he may, he may be in control, but he doesn't have any friends. Nobody really likes him. And he's not going to get rewarded for... He's really not. He's not going to get rewarded for that kind of behavior. This is like very manipulative, uh, controlling, um, narcissistic behavior. Clinging to control, the emperor reverse. This is anger. This is loss of concentration, loss of focus. It's it's just complete. It's an angry, angry energy, and 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 that's why this is a challenge because you can't see that there's an opportunity for love if you let go of control. Everybody can get along. Oh my God, I don't know where this is coming from. Son of a bitch. This is about independence. This is about gratefulness. Being grateful for the lessons that you have learned. Maybe you'll be better off on your own. I do see a fresh new start here. Because you have been brought backwards by a karmic situation. So I feel like you guys may be breaking up, breaking free from somebody as you have just dealt with a karmic lesson. I think you guys were involved in a karmic lesson that it was some sort of karmic payback. But I do feel like security and stability is coming back to you because you have went through it. I think that you dealt, you had to, you had to, you had to deal with it. I think that you were probably dealing with um, somebody that was very controlling and it gave you probably a taste of, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this, a taste of your own medicine. And, um, oh God, I don't know where that is coming from. I'm sorry. I think that you, you know, it takes two or three or four and everybody has to work together as a family. And I think that, that is, it was a definitely an issue here. And, um, there was a lot of power struggles, control issues with, as to who was in control and now there's probably some sort of breakup that is happening because there's been somebody that has, you know, there's a third party situation and independence is probably the best option. It's probably time for you to fly and start over in a new direction and be grateful for the lessons that you have learned and let go of the past so that you can bring peace and harmony back to your life. Right now, I think there's, I mean, the star reverse is discouragement. I think that you're probably really discouraged because of this breakup that you've been through. But I'm here to tell you that you need to just take time to recuperate. And, and when, when you're re going through this period of recuperation, think about um, how you tried to control the situation and how it affected the other people. Because don't worry about how the other person did it because that's no longer in your hands that's no longer in your control you worry about yourself at this point you worry about how you reacted you know what i mean how did you react how did you contribute to the chaos of this is chaos of this situation you know because if you don't act with nobility okay if you don't do the right thing if you don't recognize that other people are getting hurt in the process or if you recognize it and ignore it don't think the universe doesn't see that because the universe does. So I think you're beginning to realize, this is beginning to realize that, that love is the answer. 
you know, and working together is the answer. And I think that at this point, you've learned a, a difficult karmic lesson and that and now you're probably deciding that it's bet you'd be better off on your own. I mean, with the with the with the fool card and the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, it's like, you know what, I think I, I'd be better off on my own. Um to bring abundance back to my life, back to my soul, because I've been through a period of, of uh, well, it's been a, a very negative, you've been involved in a very negative uh, karmic situation that you had to go through so that you could be grateful, you know, so that you could appreciate, this is a card of appreciation, this is a card of appreciation, so you could appreciate everything, you know what I mean, you could appreciate all, all the small stuff, the bigs, everything, 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 everything. You know, not look at things so one-sidedly. This is very one-sided energy. And I know a lot of you are going to point the finger at the other person, right? Right now. Oh, no, that's not me. That's the problem. That is the biggest problem when you say it's not me. So I feel like you guys are about to embark on a new beginning in a new direction, a brand new direction. Without this karmic situation, I think you're leaving this karmic lesson in the past. I think it's over with. I think that you are headed towards abundance, security, and stability. But right now, you have some healing. There's a lack of there's healing that needs to happen. And I see independence for quite some time. Some independence where you can learn to appreciate... All the finer things, all the little things, all everything, 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 and other people. I see you guys going down a brand new road that you have never, ever traveled before with integrity towards victory and success and a lot of abundance because you've just went through a difficult, stormy, karmic lesson. The one message I really, really, really need to say, and I don't, I don't know why, is always consider who else is being hurt in the situation. Who else is it affecting? Because it's not just about you. How many, who, are, who else is affected in this situation? It's not just about you. I don't know who this is, what this is for. But I do see that there's some sort of breakup here. There is with that lover's card reversed. There's some sort of break. There's some sort of end of a contract because there's some been some deception. There's been like a third party situation that has gotten out of control. Somebody in this situation it has is stone cold. They didn't act with integrity, and now the payback is truly a bitch. And I think that you have learned a big lesson out of this. And Stability and security is right around the corner as soon as you embark on your new journey. And this is a brand new journey where you, someplace you've never been. Remember, as you start this journey, to do be noble and remember that people are going to be watching you. The Six of Wands is, everybody's watching this guy. Don't think that people can't see if you're not acting with integrity. Because they all know. But the most people that know or are, are spirits is God. I mean, I don't know if you believe in God, but karma. 
Karma knows. I think that you guys have begun it. You guys have realized the truth. You have realized the truth. You have. You guys have come to some sort of realization that you don't need to be involved in this anymore. And I think that somebody brought you into it. I do. I do. I do. I do. I don't think that you guys started it. I, I, I mean, I don't know where that came from, but I think that you guys were brought into this karmic situation and it got out of hand. And before you knew it, it was a big old power struggle. I see a huge power struggle was as to who was in control. And then it was a power trip. And it brought a lot, it brought you backwards. It absolutely did bring you backwards. Bad luck because of some bad decision. But in the future, we have abundance coming in and a new opportunity something new a new look at this a golden opportunity go they both of them the, you could call these both the ace of pentacles you have a new golden opportunity coming for you once you start on your new journey so even though you went backwards you really didn't because you can check that karmic lesson off of your bucket list it's done it's over In the future, you will do the noble thing. And you will remember that there's other people involved and to appreciate them. The Six of Wands is about pre appreciating the people around you that have brought you to where you're at. It's about, you know, recognizing that you didn't get here alone. That it takes working together. Six of Wands. It's about getting towards victory and success with a team, working together. But I think that you didn't. You didn't. And I think that that's, that that's a big message here. When you don't allow people to be a part of any decisions or whatever the case is, it's going to cause problems. Trying to control, trying to be the only one that makes the decisions, that never works out. It doesn't work like that. You have to work as a team, and this is teamwork is needed. Anyway, I think that you guys got yourself into quite a pickle, and Karma has said... <sighs> your loss and now it's time for you to begin again on a new journey in a new direction reaching your destination your light is shining brightly all your hard work and effort is paying off Glory, triumph, and success are yours. If you've given your power away, which you have, now is the time to reclaim it. It's time to stand in your own light. A destination is less of a place, but more of a new way of seeing the world. Like I said, a, where you've never been before. It's a whole new way. And this is the truth. A destination is less of a place, but more of a new way of seeing the world. Your dreams are moving to fruition. If you have any incomplete projects or unresolved relationships, this is the time to complete them. I mean, I can't make this shit up. This is an important part of reaching your destination. Take time to celebrate and acknowledge your success. And this is a success. This is a success. It is. Because this karmic lesson has been learned. This karmic, whatever it was, contract that you were involved with that is falling apart, is broken apart, had to happen so that you could get to this point of acceptance, abundance, security, strength, the whole nine yards. So that you could become this person that you are becoming now. You had to get through this first, even though it sucked. Anyway. If you have any incomplete projects or unresolved relationships, this is a time to complete them. 
This is an important part of reaching your destination. Take time to celebrate and acknowledge your successes in life. The voyage was long. <laughs> yes, it was, wasn't it? It seemed like it forever, didn't it? And there, was, there were many adventures along the way. But as your trek reaches the destination, there's a feeling of joy and celebration. It's important to stop and rest. And here's the rest. Like, take a, there's your rest, okay? And congratulate yourself for who you are and for what you have done. The traveler forgives those. Remember I said forgiveness is needed. I knew it. you got to forgive. Okay? The traveler forgives those who on the voyage were less than honorable. Okay? It's true. It's true. You Somebody sucked you in and you got... You know how that works when you, you tend to act like the people you hang out with. Anyway, it's true. The traveler forgives those who, are, who on the voyage were less than honorable. Release any feelings of resentment, fear, and sadness. Remember, you gotta, remember I said you need to release, and I said the grudge. The guilt, the sadness, it's true. And this is the, it's amazing that these readings happen the way they do. Release any feelings of resentment, fear, and sadness that you may have gathered along the road. You reached your goal. Let everything else go. Your majestic being who can bring you are a majestic being who can bring light into the hearts of others. Celebrate and honor yourself. You are so worth it. You are. But that you're about to start a new journey. You really are. Appreciate this loss that you're going through. This karmic lesson as a gift. Because now you're headed to a, a something so much more free and abundant and secure and stable and fulfilling. And I almost think like luxurious, you know what I mean? Where it's easy, happy, content. Where this, there's no struggle because you went through something that was very rough. And you endured even though you made some mistakes, right? Right? Now you learn from the mistakes and don't look back. Brand new journey. So it's, here's to your new beginning and it starts with independence. On your own. It's all coming back to you now. It's going to come right back. That independence, that security, that stability, that feeling of sheer contentment. It's going to come right back and you're going to be on cloud nine again. You just faced a terrible storm. But don't hold on to it. You're not that person anymore. At all. Never again. 